Tuesday, July 19th, 2011. This is the Todd Vlog. What's up, Todd Vloggers? It's about 4.45 p.m. on a Tuesday afternoon, and me and the whole family are headed to Nacogdoches, Texas. Now, what you don't know is that about six or seven weeks ago, I agreed to let Kristen and the kids get a cat, a brand new kitty for our house. So we found a place in Nacogdoches that had cats. We found one we liked. We paid them the money. And we had to wait because the kitty needed shots and it needed a surgery and all this stuff was going to happen. We were going to have to wait about three weeks before we got the cat. Well, we got a call that we could come meet the cat uh, about a week before we got it. So on Saturday when we were in Bluffkin, as you might have seen in the vlog, we drove to Nacogdoches and we met Polly. In fact, I even shot a vlog. I shot a video of us petting Polly and taking pictures with Polly and getting to meet Polly and we notice that there's something on Polly's ear. Now a little side note. I have two side notes on this whole thing. Number one, do you ever have those situations where you kind of want to go, hey, we're all adults here. Let's have some real talk. Because here's what I think. I think people who raise cats and save cats know what ringworm looks like. And I bet they knew as soon as they saw it, it was ringworm. I don't like stuff like that. Now, I realize we had the kids there. Maybe they didn't want to mention it. But we had to play this little game of, oh, I don't know, Todd and Chris, or we'll, we'll check that out. So we get the email, we get the call, and it's oh, collective gasp. It's ringworm. So they're going to take the cat to the vet, and we get word back that now we're going to have to wait at least two more weeks to a month before we get the cat. And the cat was going to be relatively large by that time. The kids were going to miss on them kind of having a kitty to raise. And so the people very uh, generously allowed to, us to pick a different cat. So I got a text in the middle of my staff meeting today from Kristen saying, hey, can you go with us at 445 to go to just to pick up pick up our new cat, who goes by the name of Charmin Charlie. We're going to rename, we're going to rename it, uh, but that's where we're headed. My second side note is this, and I apologize if this offends, because I know this vlog will be watched by people, but I'm just going to put it Many, out. many people. I'm just going to put it out there. Some people are cat people. Some people are not cat people. Like, I'm not a dog person, okay? I'm not. You know what I don't do when someone tells me they're getting a new puppy? You're nuts. Ugh. Puppies are disgusting. Non-cat people, I get it. I get it. But why do you have to make a face or immediately let me know that you don't like cats, that they gross you out? Or, or they're of the devil. Yeah, or they, they make you sick. I mean, just cats are from the pit. Yeah, yeah. That's what... That's what people say. People yeah. will say, yeah, people say, you know, you know cats are from hell. You know what? Be nice. It's not that hard to be nice. Yeah. You know? I do it all the time. When the Mavs were winning, I'm not a basketball fan. But do you know what kind of ire I would have received if someone said, hey, did you watch the games? And I would have went, ugh, Mavs. Yeah. You know the Mavs are, you know Mavs are straight from hell. Can you imagine what would have happened? <laughs> Ugh. Baseball. Ugh. My friend played on a baseball team, and it was terrible. I don't do that. I'm nice. You're not. You should be nice. Okay, Jonah, you had a suggestion. You didn't want to call it Charm and Charlie. You want to call it... Julius. Julius. Yeah. My dad really likes it. I love that name. It's very classy. Finley, what do you want to call the cat? You had a couple of suggestions. Madam Butterfly. It's a boy. Okay. Mr. Madam Butterfly. <laughs> Kristen, what do you want to call the kitty? I don't know. But Finley had the suggestion of we calling uh, that we call it Chicken Nugget. Previously, there was a big push for the name Jello. 
and there's also been the suggestion of Rainbow Sherl. Here we we'll are be, in beautiful Nacogdoches, Texas. We're a little bit early to meet the cat lady, so we're going to grab some food. Quick bite to eat. A quick bite to eat. There's the Hastings. Still going strong. I don't see a lot of Hastings going strong these days. I dated a girl from Nacogdoches once. Kristen, when are you going to quit smoking fries? I'm smoking. I'm smoking. Don't put the fart where I accidentally did this on here. <laughs> you got food. I'm getting some raisin canes. I know. Eight minutes. I know that if I lived in College Station, you're not supposed to eat at Raising Cane's. Why? Because you're supposed to go to Lane's. Hey! Lane's is like the originator. Hey. Well, let me ask but you. But I'm in Nacogdoches. Do they have a Raising Cane's there? Yes, they're usually right beside Lane's always. Smoking again. Smoking again? You guys Except are bad. I'm eating my cigarette. I got a meal called the Caniac with extra toast. Smoking in the boys room. We're going to let you guys decide because Polly, okay, I'll tell you what happened. Judy tested her with her woods lamp and said it was glowing green. Right. Well, I understood that she was taking her to the vet yesterday. She took her today. Okay. And the vet said, it's not glowing. Yeah. She'll be ready to be spayed Monday. But if you decide you want Polly, you can take her and then we'll schedule a spay whenever it's convenient for you to bring her back. Well, we got here and we found out that Polly might not have ringworm after all. So instead of getting the other cat, we're back to Polly. Jonah held Polly. He really liked her. Finley really liked Polly too. I really loved her. Are you excited? Yes. That's what Shay Carl always says, you know. Are you excited? You excited? You excited? <laughs> Luckily, well, I like another uh, introducing a new cat. Little the children too. We don't really. Oh, yeah. Uh, my parents have one, and I'm always. All right, we're on our way back uh, on Highway 204. We're going to come out in Jacksonville. This is the same route we drove Sunday or Saturday afternoon when we came home, and I noticed a building, a uh, very very scary looking building. And I actually asked some of my Jacksonville friends. I found out it's like the the Nan something clinic. I think it was an old doctor's office or hospital. And uh, it looks really creepy. It's all grown up. The windows are busted out of it. And uh, one guy, uh, my drummer friend Clay, said it looked like something that ought to be in a Scooby-Doo cartoon. Tell me if you think it's as spooky as I do. Near that is also a place called Donuts and Pizza. If anyone from Jacksonville watches this, I'd love to know what kind of service you get at Donuts and Pizza. I mean, do you get donuts and pizza at the same time? Or you get pizza 